Oh dear, it looks like someone can't get it in. Thanks to the screen off gesture, the party can start. <laughs> what's up guys this is sal so if you're new here and you want daily tech videos with intros and outros please consider subscribing so oneplus's ceo pete lu was interviewed by cnet and was asked very interesting questions regarding the oneplus 6t one of the questions was why did they remove the headphone jack he explained that the reason for the removal is the in-display fingerprint scanner. They had to cut the jack in order to make room for the new scanner. Honestly, that was a very dumb answer. I mean, Vivo Nex, a device that has no top bezel and very slim bottom one has a headphone jack at the top. And by the way, Vivo and OnePlus are sister companies, so they could have easily put a headphone jack at the top because there's absolutely nothing taking space up there. Vivo proved it. OnePlus has been asking their users every year on Twitter since 2016 that whether they want a headphone jack on their phones. And every time the answer was a staggering yes. Yet, they suddenly kill off a tech that wasn't broken for decades and refuse to properly solve the situation. It just makes me sad that a company which built its reputation by giving its fan base exactly what they want, now slowly turning into a company that doesn't even care what you want. OnePlus is slowly taking Apple's approach where they tell you what features you should like. When iPhone had a headphone jack, people often bought different brand headphones to use. Now iPhone customers buy Apple's own wireless earbuds instead. They made a calculated choice and it was smart. Not to forget, Apple receives licensing fees for every dongle anyone makes for their devices. Other manufacturers followed just to look like they are moving forward too, even though they don't have the same upside as Apple did. It's bad for the end user, but not enough people were willing to change their purchases to stop it sadly. That being said, he was also asked whether the 6T will have water resistance rating, to which he said, OnePlus 6T is more water resistant than any of its predecessors and can survive an accidental drop in the sink or a splash during a rainstorm. So the cost to go through an official IP certification just isn't worth it. He said the number of people who go on swimming with their phones are very less, so it's unreasonable for everyone else to pay $30 more in order to accommodate that one user who swim with his phone. He also said that it won't have wireless charging either. He said their users are used to the dash charge which is very fast and until they get to the day the wireless charging can come close to the dash charge they won't implement it so that said let me know what you think of this down in the comments and i'll see you tomorrow peace out